Yes, it's a question, really, I hear, and I'm obviously in the bathroom and with my dog. And I know that this is a horse channel, but I have no videos to film because they're basically the same thing over and over again. So I thought that I would show you guys how I clip my dog's hair. And the, me, also, this is my first time doing it, so, um, but my mom's done it many, many times. He barely ever goes to the groomers because he's not the most friendly dog. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get into it. terms, I don't know what they're actually called. Um, these are like for men or whatever for like people, but it doesn't really matter. They're also cheaper than like dog clippers or like horse ones, so that's why I'm using those. And they're like old in older style. They're like the wall designer ones. I don't know. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to see. And then, yeah, also before you start clipping, you also want to make sure that you wash your dog um, with like twice, like use shampoo twice to get like everything out so that the clippers don't get stuck or anything. And yeah, and then you also want to make sure that they're dry when you're clipping them. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing you'll have to do is catch your dog first, and then once you turn on your clippers, um, then you go against the fur, and if it looks like, you can also adjust it so you go uh, with the fur or against it, but when you go against it, it cuts off more hair. So here he just decided to lay down on the ground, so I was just shaving him like that, so yeah. So here I adjusted the, like the, I, for, I don't know what it's called, but like the clipper thing, the one that you put on from a 16 millimeter to I think a 10 millimeter. Um, and you always want to start out with a longer clip so that if you want to shave it shorter, you can. So that's what I did. And you also want to be extra gentle with the, the face and the tail and any part that's obviously really like, you know, um, fragile and you have to be gentle with, that's where you want to be gentle. And when it comes to the face, you want to do it as lightly as possible and not come close to their head. Of course, if you're going for a, um, a closer, more, more skin-like uh, clip, obviously you'll have to go in, but you still have to be really gentle. And also with the ears, because if, you guys remember, um, or if you guys don't know this, then dogs and most animals have really improved hearing than we do. So they hear um, like the clippers like some five times louder or something like that. I'm not sure what the exact number is, but I know that they, that they hear it much, much louder than we do. 
so you have to be careful around their face and things like that and you don't want to make it too uncomfortable for them.